here we are in a special project of the triennial called We the People that is guest curated by uh, Susan Benningson. And I was very interested in this uh, project also because of a piece of historical information that I learned actually from a lecture given by the executive chair of the triennial, Dr. Agnes Shitang, when she talked about how the founding leaders of this country uh, 200 years ago actually were fascinated and studied classical Chinese civilization and specifically as well the analects of Confucius, particularly and specifically the section on governance and good governance. What makes a good leader you know, of the people? How do you receive the mandate uh, of heaven as, as, as the analects depicts it? So I thought that we would develop a project uh, basically inviting contemporary artists from Asia who have a relationship to the US, to New York, to create works in response to uh, one of the last uh, copies, official copies from the 19th century of the Declaration of Independence. So here we have two artists, a much more established Chinese artist, Xu Bing, as well as on the other side, uh, Sun Xu. And Xu Bing has created a new work of his Silkworm series, where he has specifically chosen a copy of the Confucian Analects. And this is the chapter where Confucius is asked about what is uh, good governance, you know, what, what are the three things that a leader should uh, sort of uh, do. And of course, out of the three, the most important, he said, was to listen to the people. And as part of the commission, you can see, you know, the silkworm cocoons are still there. And, and he has uh, sort of, the silkworms have sort of encapsulated it, a kind of indication about how, you know, we, we've actually lost sight of some of the, the teachings, you know, of, of the people that have gone before us and what we've learned uh, in the future. And here we are showing, of course, the artist next to uh, a, a really beautifully uh, preserved uh, official copy of the Declaration of Independence. We have a much younger artist, Sun Xin, who has produced a 24-page folding album, really uh, responding to specific kind of uh, moments or texts in the uh, declaration. Two Confucian scholars with their heads gone, and their heads are actually burning, you know. And the Confucian scholars in classical Chinese civilization, of course, was the, the civil service, they were the government. And the text he wrote in English, he writes, he has text in Mandarin and English. And here he says, he has dissolved representative houses repeatedly for opposing with manly firmness his invasions on the rights of the people. So the neutering of, you know, the public service and of, of, of government, you know, this is a very personal sort of response by this artist, you know, who, who actually has a studio in, in New York, he spends a lot of time here to what is happening. So this project basically connects Asia to America and to New York uh, as well. And I felt that it, it was a very important sort of anchor point from which the other much more global discussions of, you know, what, how the world is actually connected. It's not something we can deny. It's not something we can erase out of existence.